Okay, guys, welcome back. So, uh, what happened? Uh, if you watch the previous video, you will see that Tesla was starting to go down, and uh, we left it there more or less at around this level, and which is around the 424. I know that's where we have the 50 moving average, a bit lower than that. And uh, we bought one share, automatic uh, share that we had to set a pre-order uh, based on the hourglass uh, strategy. And then we moved, we had another uh, share that was gonna be sold at 421. And as you can see, we almost reached 420. So if we didn't move that one down, which we did at 416 or so, we would have bought one extra or two extra shares of Tesla. But we didn't want to do that at that moment. Uh, only if we would start falling more, more, more. We didn't know what, you never know what's gonna happen. So if we uh, knew we were gonna just bounce back, we could have bought it and see that now we could sell it basically. No, I mean, not that specific, uh, share because from here to there it's like one percentual point which is nothing so it doesn't cover the cost but uh, as you can see <coughs> we are about to go uh, well we just passed the 200 moving average if we zoom in a little bit we can see more in detail that now we have higher highs here you have higher highs, higher lows. This one bounced uh, from the 50 moving average. If the 50 moving average crosses the 200 moving average, that's a sign of consolidation in the uptrend. And at that point, I mean, that's normally when you would start buying shares, normally. So uh, <coughs> I like to do the incremental purchase that way you take advantage of a few shares at a lower price and uh, ideally you want to buy most of the shares at the lower price unless as you go higher up but normally that strategy should should start above the 200 moving average so uh if we have a more global view of what happened to tesla today started with a big rally uh, I'm trying to go down but it doesn't move I don't, ah, there we go start with a big rally then you really start falling 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 and now it's recovering um, yeah overall nothing much that we can say here in the one month uh, though there we can see we're still in a downtrend so basically now uh, we basically I mean so many times in the MACD you see that you're going down you see that the MACD is going down but the stock is going up and so far that's what's happening to Tesla so it has been going up does it mean that it can go higher? Uh, no, it doesn't mean so. Anything can happen. It could be that from here it crosses and starts going down. So in, in, <laughs> in the stock market, y you never know what's gonna happen next, never. So that's why you have to be very precautious. And uh, I think that the, the the strategy we're using at the moment that we're testing out the hour clock uh, strategy uh, I think it's helping to gain liquidity because uh, you set orders at these levels and you reduce risks because you you buy in small quantities so imagine imagine uh, that you bought uh, uh, at these high levels okay which we did actually even higher we bought even higher there um, what happens uh, do you lose no we only bought a few shares we bought a few shares here too we bought a few shares here 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 okay but just a few 
if we would have bought everything in one shot that would have been a problem so if you buy everything up here then you have to wait normally if you follow the cycles uh, of Tesla you can see that more or less if you look at the dates here the 14th of August then it was the 4th of September and now uh, didn't, but more or less it's half a month to one month so here we have a good one 23rd of July so from 21st of July to 14th of August you have almost 20 days more or less same thing here from the 30th of June to the 23rd that's 23 days 23 days 20 23 15 sometimes here is difficult to see but this was probably a 30 day yeah 30 day one month and this is just half a cycle then so this I mean this is up okay down up that, that was a very short one actually look from the 23rd to the 30th one week okay and you can count the days here one two three four five five days five trading days and you had half a cycle okay half a cycle and then one cycle half a cycle so how does it work so here it would be we delete all this so this oh no sorry <laughs> let's use the brush so if we have a cycle that goes like this that's a full cycle okay so it's a wave basically think of a frequency radio frequency it goes up it goes down that's it and that's what happens all the time and then you have microwaves going in here boom 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 up and down so the full cycle going all the way up going down and back to the same spot as we are here more or less let's say that's a full cycle and it normally takes 20 days for Tesla that's what I calculated more or less but as you can see uh, here we have one that was one month then one, one week then 20 so it's an average more or less so uh, if we look at where we are now okay going back to today and look at that it has been going up a lot that's when that was uh, uh, when we thought uh, battery, no, battery day was here and that was, uh, we thought it was going to be inserted in the 500, uh, S&P 500, which never happened, so then it cooled off, then we tried to do the battery day, and now, uh, thanks to the new uh, deliveries and the calculation that uh, Tesla will have a lot of uh, earnings, uh, that's a good sign that we might get into the 500 the S&P 500 so I think it's a good moment to start buying but not at these levels uh, ideally you will want to be in the 350s <laughs> but will it go down I mean so far every time it went down this was a support this has become a support basically 327 330 350 another support there okay 370 sorry three oh no no uh, a little bit lower yeah so there those are uh, support points what's the next support uh, I don't know it's like we're, we're at 400 so more or less is like I don't think it's gonna go lower than that and that's a good thing about Tesla it offers you some security you know that it won't go below this uh, when we had the big crash in March it went down like a rock but it recovered quickly super quickly it was uh, astonishing so and that there I made the big mistake not to buy it again that was a mistake uh, I recognize that I should have bought Tesla I mean I sold all my positions and then I didn't buy it I bought some other um, companies that took very long time to climb up and oh, it was really a bad strategic decision so now that's why uh, I decided to have Tesla as the main stock it doesn't mean I'm just trading Tesla I trade all the stocks at the same time but uh, okay so uh, based on the graph and the technical part is it means that uh, it's going down so it should be 
a moment to buy, uh, especially if you want to hit bottom, uh, that, that would be the best. But uh, if we go in the daily, in the five day, basically, we can see the five day with five minutes. Uh, here we can click this one. I think the rock bottom would have been the 407, uh, I mean, but that was after. So 415, that was a really good bottom. I doubt it will go below 415. So 420, I mean, I doubt anything might happen. And I'm thinking probably we should start uh, moving our positions up based on what I just said. Uh, you know, sometimes you need to say it to realize, oh, okay. Because if we look at our portfolio, we did the hour, uh, hourglass strategy and uh, so w we are thinking that we might get to 408 and there we'll buy four shares but that's very uh, doubtful I, I think uh, it, in my opinion obviously I'm not a financial advisor I'm just a retail investor like you most likely like you that's why you're watching so uh, mm, shall we at least put one to buy one at around these levels uh, 420 actually we cancel that one <laughs> but, but you know uh, we have some liquidity <coughs> we'll do that buy one at 420 uh, sorry I'm doing this the wrong way uh, here is one and that's 420 and we do it at GTC so we have that which is part of the uh, hour clock, let's say uh, <laughs> hourglass. If we do that and that, so we want to buy less at a higher price and, and then for selling is the opposite, okay? So we want to, at the bottom, we would like to buy four at 408. Here at this level, between them what i do is i have one percent touch difference okay so you go one percent down one percent down and one percent down and yeah at this moment yeah that's that's what we have i mean uh, right now i don't think uh, we, yeah we have one percent down here yeah that's correct i think it was 421 we had before okay uh I think it's a good moment to ask you to like and subscribe and it's uh, also a good moment to say goodbye and thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.